Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back vlogging. I feel like I haven't filmed a vlog in a hot minute, so I'm so excited and happy to be back. And this vlog is even more exciting because we are prepping and packing for LA together and Miami. Today is Wednesday and I leave on Monday night. So I've got a whole bunch of appointments just kind of scattered until then. I have appointments today, Friday, and on Monday before I leave. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me and also taking you guys with me on the packing process as well just hanging out with my daughter right now this morning's appointment is going to be my hair appointment i haven't washed my hair in like a week so that's why it looks the way it does right now um but this appointment should be a pretty quick one we're not like putting foils in or anything so it really shouldn't take long at all we're just moving my tapes up and, and also maybe going to give my hair a bit of a trim as well but yeah oh mm. Mm. look at how cute my dog is look at how cute you are love you sweetie pie mm. oh, yeah. Yeah. this is the before done i'm on the way home now i'm gonna get home just after three which is great because i actually have a video to film when i get back my hair looks so good we actually didn't do anything to my color like we didn't we didn't even tone it or anything did actually add in another pack of extensions just because i wanted it to be a little bit thicker for the um trip ash is just the best person at hair that's the first thing done off my list of um, like the maintenance things that I do every time I go overseas so that means that the next time I'll be seeing you guys is on Friday when I have my lash appointment guys look what just came I'm literally craving lollies and chocolates so this just came at the right time we have a little boarding ticket and the cake which says white fox 10th birthday oh wait I need to take a photo of this all right let's do this Oh, what's in here? We've got another little boarding pass and all the lollies. Yum. What do you mean? I'm going to be eating these all day now. I'm now three days out from the trip. I'm fresh faced this morning because I'm going to get my lashes lifted and also my brows laminated as well. I always like doing both of those things before a trip just so that I can kind of like wake up in the morning and be ready to go when I'm on the trip and not feel like I have to put like mascara on or do my brows so that's all already done. So yeah, I'm gonna have down below like everywhere that I go um, and who I see just so that if you guys live on the Gold Coast, you guys can see them if you want to. But yeah, I will see you guys at my lash appointment. Okay, I just got here, I'm parked up. This is the before. Here is 
the after. Now I'm just going to head to Pack Fair. My appointments are 12.30, so it means I have like maybe 45 minutes to get, you know, all the little last minute things that I need. And I don't really need to get that much, to be honest. And I feel like America is one of those places where there's like a lot of chemists around and beauty shops. So even if I do forget something or need something, like it's easy to get it when I'm there. So I'm not that stressed about this trip as I was about like Europe, for example. I'm back home now. This is how the brows look. I haven't brushed them since she did um, in store. But I'm really happy with them. I'm loving how my lashes are looking as well. For some reason, I feel like this eye looks curlier than this eye. Or it might just be because my lashes are longer on this eye. Or I have more lashes on this eye. Anyways, I picked up... Oh, well, actually, I only got I only got one thing from Mecca. I did pop in the other day, so I'll show you guys what I got the other day as well. And then I have a CSB package here too, because can't help myself. As it's dead set so hot, like you know when you can just feel like a storm's brewing. It's like really hot and humid. But anyway, as I said, I'm gonna start off with what I got the other day. So I actually got a new shampoo. This is from the hair salon. Um, I just use the Virtue Labs full shampoo, which is like a volumizing shampoo. And then from Mecca, I got a, another one of my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I also got a new uh, Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. Honestly, no matter how many concealers I try, I just always go back to this one. I just feel like it looks so good on my skin and just the tone of it and everything. I get the shade Golden Beige. And I also use the shade Almond if I want to like brighten my under eyes up even more. And I also picked up the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I got it in the shade Natural Amber. I used to use this back in the day and I don't know, I just haven't bought a new one in a few years. I thought I'd try it out again. Um, I'm going to try and mix this tomorrow night with my Makeup Forever foundation and see if that makes me like that foundation a little bit more. I feel like it'll just make it a little bit more full coverage. So I'll see how that goes. And I also got my beauty loop for the month. So what's in here? There's a little Toka perfume sample, uh, Dermalogica Daily Milk Foliant. I actually haven't seen this. And then we have this Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. Uh, Mecca Cosmetica sunscreen. Lastly, we have a Kosas, ooh, airbrow, clear lifting treatment gel with lamination effect. Maybe I'll bring this with me overseas rather than bringing like a full size on because I don't really need brow gel since my brows are laminated. Then I have a package from CSB, which I've actually still yet to open. I feel like this has been sitting here for like a week, which isn't good. But I just picked up the new fade set, which looks so soft. So I got this little t-shirt crop right here. And then I got, oh my God, that is so short. I'm usually a leggings girl, but I got the shorts and I feel like these look really short unless I'll be fine once I actually put them on. I'm actually going to try these on because I'm probably going to either have to return them or sell them if they're too short for me. They're actually not too bad. I'm definitely more of a leggings girly, but it's good to have something different, you know, for the days where I do feel like wearing shorts. They are super comfy though. now 24 hours before our flight not before our flight before we kind of have to leave so it's time for me to start packing i know a lot of people like to pack like the week before their trip because my place is so small and i don't really have anywhere to like kind of just lay my suitcase out i've always just kind of packed the day before trips but i'll always do my checklist on my phone um 
in the days leading up to the actual trip just so that i don't forget anything i feel like that really helps and i feel like you always remember things that you need to put in your suitcase the days leading up to your trip I, anytime i've ever tried to just pack everything the day of or the day before and i like do the checklist that day i always always forget things and i feel like starting to write up my checklist like leading up to the trip really helps to stop that so basically today i'm gonna do all of my outfits bags and shoes and then tomorrow i'll do like my makeup my skincare all that kind of thing i'm also gonna go to james's house tonight and do his suitcase for him and do all of his outfits and stuff i'm gonna turn my camera around and show you guys the current situation got my suitcase out as well as all of my packing cubes which just help so much with packing and organizing and over here i have a bunch of clothes i have all my white fox stuff in this box and then these are just things that i've kind of picked up and haven't worn yet so i feel like the trip will be a good time to wear some of these things do like three white fox night outfits and then like three daytime ones and then i've kind of got a i don't actually know what we're doing in Miami so that kind of makes it a little bit hard to pack for that. I have checked the weather and everything and I feel like it's pretty warm there still for the next 10 days. I have a whole bunch of outfits so I'm just going to lay everything out on the floor and have a sauce that way. This is what we've got going on at the moment. I definitely have way too many things so okay this is so hard. I feel like in terms of the white fox stuff I'm good. I've got those jeans there, but I think I might grab. I have these other white fox jeans, which I feel like you guys, <gasps> oh, I wanted to bring these jeans too. I'm gonna try on a few of these things just so I can cull things down. Like some things I know they're definitely gonna come. They're just out because I wanna style them. But some things I'm gonna try on and work out if I actually wanna wear it or not. This I was gonna wear as one of my Miami daytime outfits. This is my Theola bodysuit with one piece with just some linen trousers no not really loving this one i think this one can stay okay this one i'm not sure if i'm gonna bring either it is cute i feel like it'll be easy to chuck on but will i actually wear it guys i bought this set off skims thinking that it'd be the same colors but it's literally not i feel like it'll still be fine though i just want to wear it to the airport on the way to miami so I think it'll be fine for that. Like, I just want to be comfy. I'll just wear it with a pair of sneakers. I've culled down a couple of things. I think I'm going to cull this white fox set too. Just because I don't think I'm actually not wearing it. I'm going to try this dress on and see. See, I thought this would be cute maybe for like lunch in Miami or like just to wear down to the pool. I actually haven't tried on this rat and bow dress before, so I might try it on just to make sure that I actually like it. I don't think I'm gonna bring this one either. I feel like it kind of just looks a bit weird on me, I don't know. I feel like this would be cute like in Byron or something. Okay, this rat and bow dress is really hard to see, like the detailing, but it's all mesh in the stomach area. I think it's really cute. I think this will be perfect for dinner in Miami. Okay, so I think this is everything that I'm gonna bring Clothes wise, I decided to bring this two piece white set instead of the yellow dress just because I feel like it's just, I don't know, I really like chucking little sets on. And then I got like a two piece legging set in case we want to go to the movies one night. Now I just need to get out all the heels that I want to pair with everything. Clothes are in. I genuinely have no idea how I packed my bag for Europe. I've only got 23 kilos of luggage too, so not flying business class. I don't know how I'm gonna make this work. I think I'm gonna have to bring my little suitcase for all my bags and also my duffel. And then as well as that, I'm probably gonna go shopping over there, so I don't know. I am stressed right now, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. It's time to wash my makeup brushes now. So I thought I'd show you guys how I actually do it. This little pad right here, I think I got this from Amazon. And then to deep clean my makeup brushes, I literally just use baby shampoo. And I love the way it makes my makeup brushes smell. I do like to bring just like a spray daily brush cleaner 
uh, anytime I go overseas, just so that I can wash my brushes in between washes if I need to, especially like foundation brushes and stuff. That's done. I'm just gonna let this dry outside overnight. It's currently 8.30. I did pop over to James's house to pack his suitcase for him and do all of his outfits. It's so funny how different his packing is to mine. Like all he literally needs to pack is shoes, clothes, undies, socks, and his toiletry kit. That's it. And then with me, there's like 700 million things that I need to pack. It just made me wish that I was a male. For the past half an hour, I've just been packing away. Actually, basically done, which is great. James is literally gonna be like, what is wrong with you? When he sees all of this stuff again. the gym hence the appearance right now i washed my face and i'm gonna be dermaplaning i popped in the woolies after the gym and i got these emco beauty dermaplaning facial razors i just put some eggs in boiling water because i'm gonna have some hard boiled eggs as my post workout meal i to leave in a couple of hours to go do my nails and get my hair washed i'm also gonna drop boo to Sophia's place on the way. Um, yeah, why isn't this opening? Got it, finally, 10 years later. Let me just get a little tissue. Face is done, this is everything. Came off my face, darling. Is mommy going again? Is mommy going? I love you. Just dropped Boo off to Sophia's mom. Now I'm at my nail appointment. I just got here. It's in a couple minutes. So I'm gonna walk over. No idea what I want to do with my nails. I don't know if I should do square french um oval french or if i want to do oval like neutral color i really just have not thought this through but i need to think the bright lighting but my nails are done they look so different in this light they're like actually more like a pinky color like that but i did almond for once which i never actually do the shape like ever but you know i thought i'd do something different okay guys i am home now my hair's done i've got my outfit on i'll show you guys quickly this is what i'm wearing to the airport i don't know if you guys know this about me but i really hate hate wearing shorts or anything short on planes just because i hate like my legs touching the bare seat like, i've actually got um an extra pair of pants like tracky pants in there to get changed in as soon as we get on the plane the reason why i'm wearing this jumpsuit is because i'm getting a pick in this white fox 10th anniversary jumper my stuff is packed i love how i said yeah i'm gonna have the extra suitcase and then have extra room in my bag um, if I buy anything and I've completely filled that up as well. It's actually nothing that I can colour. I mean I could probably colour like some bags but like what difference is that really going to make? This is all packed. I'm not going to go through everything because I feel like I've done like a prep and pack with me before and I showed you guys everything 
on that. I feel like everything is quite the same. But I'm just going to close out the vlog here. I will be vlogging in LA, so stay tuned for the next vlog. I hope you guys have the best week. Bye!